I am so grateful to be a part of this committee and be here for this very, very critical uh, hearing. Uh, Chairman Grijalva and Representative McEachin, thank you again for all your work, your leadership on this issue, on the Environmental Justice for All Bill, which I'm proud to be a co-sponsor of. An important bill of mine, the Outdoors for All Act, is included in the legislation, which expands access to parks in urban areas with the priority for underserved communities. In our fight for true environmental justice, every decision, every law, and every program impacting our environment and the people who live in it have to prioritize racial equity. Now, the majority of Latino and, and African-American district that I have, almost 90%, is sandwiched between highways, refineries, and urban oil drilling. As a result, my neighbors and our community members can't breathe. We've had the highest level of air pollution in the country. It's unacceptable. And we cannot settle for anything less than a clean and safe environment for all people. Not more half measures of greenwash solutions, not more diesel death zones, cancer alleys, or flints. We can rise to the occasion and advance climate and environmental justice centered on racial justice. While no one bill is going to solve these issues, the Environmental Justice for All Act puts in place the legal protections and support for environmental justice communities so we can all move forward together.